Hello everyone, this is Sattvik and let's discuss about Shodan. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter. The link is in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community uh, where you can share your doubts or get updates regarding the content that I'm going to post, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. And guys, uh, this video is kind of a uh, thing. So it is most requested and it is also one of the most used cyber security tool, I should say, because like uh, people use it most of the time. So even I have this tool in my bug bounty workflow, not only for bug bounty, I use it for kind of information gathering and whatever you name it. So the name as we discussed is the Shodan. So let me give you a small detail about what Shodan is. So Shodan is a kind of search engine guys. So you can see there are it is a search engine for internet connected devices so you can see your ip your uh, what you call your ip cameras or your cctvs which are connected to the internet okay some server some refrigerator so every device which is connected to the internet you can test here with the shodan so what you can do is like you can simply uh, search for like uh, what what are the services it is running okay whether it is having some vulnerable versions or anything like that okay so and also guys uh, it is free thing so shodan is available for free okay you can simply create an account but if you want to do some more stuff so there is something called as membership so which shodan has recently ran a membership and i even updated on my discord server so do wait uh till the next sale okay so you can see there are some few filters so same like google dorking so there are some kinds of dorks or filters you can you call i'll call here it as filters so there are some few stuff here so you can view all the filters and everything like that in this video we'll be covering some parts some filters and stuff like that okay so and also guys as i told you creating an account is simple so once you create an account you'll be getting a shodan uh shodan api so if you go to the shodan api so it, there are some screenshots okay i'm not going to show you right now you can see uh, if you go to your account in the overview you can find your api key so make sure you copy that api key uh, because uh, like if you want to integrate with some kind of command line or whatever it is so you can use this thing okay so that is the thing so this is the search engine guys same like search engine so let's simply search for something like uh, apache sorry guys so like it is going to take some time guys okay so you can see the shodan you don't you are not uh, what this is kind of passive recon only like you are not doing anything so shodan crawlers okay they scan for this stuff okay so i simply search for apache guys so we all know apache is a kind of server not some kind of vehicle or whatever it is so you can see uh like it took some time okay that's the thing and you can see the total number of results it's like 24 million results and you can see from which countries it is from and you can see what are the ports it is running on it is running on port 18 so http https and also some different ports okay and also the organizations here so amazon amazon uh like digital ocean there are some stuff here so by side okay the side part or the uh, left side okay you can see some information and the right side you can see some information like this so like you can what you can do is like you can simply open them okay so like it is kind of your now it is kind of passive recon only guys because shodan will do that for you you are simply searching for them but you can do scan with shodan that's a different part i'll try to uh, cover that in the next part so you can see what are the vulnerabilities as well like you can report those vulnerabilities if they are some kind of uh what you feel like more uh depth okay so that is the thing you can see some information here like what are the ports that are open so 80 and 443 the ports that are open on this server like this is the ip address okay uh that is how you can see it like you can simply search for something like this and you can simply get the information and one cool thing that you can do always is like you can simply search for some kind of ip address so i'll search for cloudflare dns so we all know 1.1.1 so it is a kind of private dns so you can simply search for an ip as well okay but guys remember the shodan is not as fast as you feel okay it takes some time okay it takes some time you can see it is from country united states okay it is a dns guys so that's the reason you can see port 53 is open so it's a kind of uh, product guys like uh, if you want to hide your uh, like uh, traffic from your isp or whatever it is so there is an application called as 1.1.1 .1 .1. okay so you can do check that out it's free available for free and it is owned by cloudflare we all know cloudflare is uh, provide some kind of security and stuff and also you can see some kind of uh, ports that are open etc like that so like you can simply scan for an ip as well okay so the next part we'll be looking for something like uh, 
organizations so there is a filter called as org okay and uh, you need to uh, mention the value by giving the colon and you can simply space something like if you want if, you, if it has more words you can add it in the quote so amazon let me hit enter and now it is going to find out all the results okay so all the devices from amazon okay which are connected to the internet okay and you can also see guys uh like you can also see something like when it lastly scanned etc like that you can see we got some few information about amazon you can see these are nothing but amazon data services and stuff so mostly these are from amazon only and you can see from which countries uh it is from what are the ports it is hosting etc like that like you can simply open them in a new tab okay so if you want you can go through if you want to dig if you want you can simply dig deep into this ip like doing some extra scan or anything like that it's completely your choice okay so you have some information who is the uh what are the vulnerabilities and even the web technologies that are used so like it's a kind of vaporizer kind of thing so that is the thing that's uh, that's how it works okay so and also guys you can add some more uh things as well like uh, you can add something like os so operating system so i'll add something like windows 10 okay so if you want you can add uh, quotes is an important option but if you feel that is only one word okay it's only one word consists of only one word then you can add some without quotes also you can provide the value okay so ignore the errors guys like it's a kind of some kind of typo errors kind of thing just ignore them and you can see the results are 53 and the uh, uh, you can see the countries as well so most of them are from united states because amazon is uh, located in uh, us okay so that is the thing and uh, you can simply open them in a new tab uh, sorry guys for the noise uh, you can see what is the host name etc like that and also the vulnerabilities you can report them okay but most of them might be fixed because like these scans uh, won't run daily so shodan doesn't scan them daily okay so it, it scans for like some time so it might be patched but we don't know you can simply test them or you can report them it's completely your choice and also guys like uh, you can always uh, remove this uh, like if you want to remove some kind of uh, filter okay so you can add hyphen between a filter so what we'll be looking for right now is like organization of amazon organization and we are looking for the results which are not of windows 10 so let me hit enter now you can see you will be getting more results than this 53 because like we are excluding the windows 10 stuff you can see we got a normal stuff only so like hyphen like same like google docking it works fine okay and the something you can do is like uh you can add like there are some other docs guys or other filters so city city is one of the good filter you can do so i'll be adding something like delhi so delhi capital of india so like you can search for anything like that so you can simply search for like that or if you want you can add a code it's fine it's absolutely fine and also remember guys it, it takes some time okay because it's a kind of a big thing like it consists like like you just found like 22 million results but we don't know how many million results or billion or trillion results this short and might consist of so it just takes some time so make sure you are uh, caught up okay and also there are other other uh, products within the, within the shodan which we will be covering uh, in some time so guys you can see uh, we got a results from new delhi like there are like 5 lakh results from the new De delhi itself so delhi or the new delhi it's fine and you can see the ports etc like the, the companies whatever it is like you can see akamai uh, like there are some local companies there are some big companies operating systems you can use you can see the debian operating system a uh, windows okay so whatever it is okay so like you can search it okay and one more and guys for filtering the con uh, information about some kind of uh, countries so you can do that by simply adding a filter called as country and followed by the country code so i tried some uh, forms guys like india so i n i n d india like that so but what i found out is like these short forms will work so that is the thing you can see there are like seven a million results from the india itself so that is a cool thing and if you want to search for port okay so port and you can specify the value so port 80 so not the ports okay so make sure you take a uh, note of all these stuff guys uh, because it will work definitely for you okay so it is going to take some time let it uh, let's wait you can see now we got like 1 million results from uh, from india okay so which are running port 80 and you can see from which countries or which states uh, like if you click on more here so it is going to open up a chat kind of thing so let's wait 
uh, you can see uh, which cities okay or which city or whatever it is are running uh, like more number of these results and stuff you can see uh, mumbai has more stuff so that is the thing so like this you can go there you can click on more on the organizations or the products which are running it etc like that so you can see akamai tech uh, technologies uh, using that that's fine and the products okay the products in the sense like the applications or the services which are running this thing so you can see hike uh hike vision ip camera so it's a kind of provider for cctv so ip camera in the sense like you can view the uh, your uh, ip tv from uh, or ip uh, sorry the cctv stuff from anywhere okay if you have internet connected so that is the thing like you can see like the operating systems etc like that you can see router OS. so most of these might be are related to something like uh, your routers uh, like default login page something like that okay so that is the thing like you can add more ports as well guys like 3389 so 3389 we all know it is for uh, rdp so we all know what you can do with an rdp stuff you can see now we got more results so 3389 is for uh, something like uh, rdp like that you can try to do it and if you want you can add more stuff as well by uh, separating with the comma and even for any results you can separate them with a comma and it will work fine so these are some stuff guys so these are the ports uh, these are some kind of filters that i use most personally like there are a lot of uh, stuff so if i go to this page you can see there is something like a network range organization product state etc like that okay so that is the thing so like there are some other filters you can simply go through and check them out but these are the filters that i use mostly okay so now let's discuss about some other shodan uh, applications okay so there is something called a shodan maps so maps.shodan.io so it is going to load up an international map so world map to be precise so you can search for anything like uh, uh, apache let's simply search for an apache like you can add the filters that you want to okay so that is fine so it is going to take some time guys because like it loads up and it takes up some time and in the meantime let's see for the other stuff so images so images.shodan.io so now you might be having something like Satvik. these images are kind of interesting you can see there is a webcam stuff there are some login rdp stuff these are some rdp stuff guys so what you can do is like you can simply search for a webcam or whatever it is just search for them let's see what results you will be getting and this this maps result will take some time guys because it is uh, my personal observation so you can see you are able to see something like that if you want to know more information about them you can open them in a new tab and you can see the information like what is the ip address like since you are able to see some IP, uh, see some results right then it means like uh, there is no some kind of authentication not to see that so you can simply go to this ip and you can simply see this stuff so that is your choice okay but uh, don't do anything illegal guys because uh, we are meant to protect the stuff okay so hackers like we mostly are like kind of good guys so make sure we are like that so i searched for apache guys you can see uh, the results you can see a dots here kind of thing so those represents the results and stuff so you can simply search for them like almost all the filters that i told you here will work for the images and stuff as well okay so there is something called a shodan shodan exploits uh, i'm not familiar with the yeah, i am really sorry for that what you can search for is like it's a kind of ser uh, search exploit or search uh, whatever it is a uh, search exploit or uh, search db whatever you can call or an exploit db whatever it is so you can simply search for something okay like uh, if you hit on search you can see some results okay how you can exploit this particular service or whatever it is so that is a cool thing that you can do with the shodan so i think we covered some enough concepts guys for today like there are a lot more applications like the things that i told you are like kind of beginner stuff only but uh, you can do a lot more stuff with that okay so so that is it for today's video if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share it with your friends who are really interested in this stuff and uh, if you want more videos like this do subscribe to my channel as well and this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you